Hey guys, quick preview to this episode. So I learned a lot during this episode and what not to do when you're doing this uh, based on some experience. So go ahead and keep watching. I'll tell you at the end what went wrong and I'll see you guys there. All right, bye. Hey you guys and welcome back to another episode of Northwest Craftsman. Today we're going to be building a cheap and collapsible spray booth so that we can protect the rest of my shop from the overspray and the miscellaneous spray that comes off. This is all in preparation for finishing the bed frame and we're going to be doing a lacquer spray on that bed frame. So I wanted to provide an area where I could spray this and not get the rest of my shop contaminated with the lacquer. Not only that, but to kind of contain the lacquer spray into an individual location. This is a pretty cheap and simple way of doing it. And I learned it from a guy called J Katz Moses. If you haven't seen his channel, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it in the description below. Um, he's got a lot of really great content, but we're gonna go ahead and try and put that together. It basically uses a pop-up tent and uh, painter's plastic all the way around the edges to kind of contain that spray area. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll see how that looks. Okay, so this next process is really just going to be me uh, setting up the pop-up tent and then putting the painter's plastic around the edges. I got a whole bunch of these little clips that I can use, but I'll go ahead and walk you guys through the specifics of it. But I'm going to go ahead and just quickly time-lapse what it looks like as I'm setting this guy up. So here you guys go, a quick glimpse of what it looks like inside of the uh, mobile spray booth. Um, really not as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, it's a little bit tall for the shop, definitely spacious. Um, so essentially what we're doing, what you saw me do is you put this painter's plastic all the way up around the edges and then you use these little tiny clips to clip it up on the frame all the way around. And not that this is a perfect seal by any means, but what it allows, uh, what it allows is a prevention of most of the lacquer from making its way outside rather than just spraying straight in your shop. Now, part of the downside to this is you need to have space in your shop for one of these. And this takes up uh, 10 foot by 10 foot and a little bit larger just because of how it uh, sets. But uh, find one that is the size of your shop or the size that you can allow in your shop and then the size of projects that you need to do and that will allow you to get done what you need to get done. Now there is another option which I may just end up using for this project because the weather is beautiful today and that is just to spray outside. So the weather is just beautiful. Here's our two puppies out on the lawn enjoying the sun. Um, but the weather is just absolutely spectacular out here and there's nobody working on the farm today so there's not going to be a lot of dust from people going uh, driving around and so if I'm able to spray kind of in this little nook that's sheltered from the wind this may actually be the best option right now because it has plenty of uh, airflow through here and uh, um, I don't have to worry about protecting my shop in any way, shape or form and using that giant tent in there. So if you have the option to spray outside, absolutely do that. Oop, sorry for the air traffic overhead. So if you have a spray booth or you can spray outside, those are probably your two best options, especially if you have a relatively clean environment outside that's gonna give you the best airflow and really protect yourself to the best of, uh, well, the best of your ability because that's really the gold standard for it is you've got more fresh air outside than you do anywhere else. Um, even in a spray booth. So if you can do it outside cleanly so that you're not gonna get stuff in your finish or dust in your finish, that's really a good option. Um, it's pretty limited depending on where you are in the United States. And so setting up this uh, mobile spray tent uh, for the shop, though big and kind of unwieldy, should allow me to uh, finish multiple times or throughout the entire year, because here in Oregon, we're still in this kind of on-off rainy season. So if you have the ability to spray outside, I would recommend it. If you don't have the ability to spray outside, you can use this solution as a potential way to extend when you can spray and to protect the rest of your shop from potential damage or coating that you could get from the uh, lacquer uh, overspray and just kind of settling on different parts of your shop. Hey 
Hey everybody, so lesson learned. After my first set of spraying in the shop, I absolutely filled the entire shop with lacquer fumes and a white cloud. And so I quickly opened up all the doors and ventilated the whole thing, but I am not using this mobile spray booth as a solution for spraying in the shop, unless I'm gonna be doing very small projects. The bed frame, which you can see behind me, is uh, not really a small project and will very quickly fill your shop. So if you have anything larger than a tiny project that you're looking to spray, I would not recommend doing this. Though, if you have enough space that you have space around it, it will slow the progression of the lacquer fumes to the rest of the shop or to the rest of the space that you're working in. Um, or if you have an environment outside that you can't really work in because it's too dusty or otherwise, it will still work to some regards, um, in some regards. But anyways, lesson learned, uh, just wanted to give you that caveat because I'm spraying outside primarily now and will likely be doing fair weather finishing in the future. So hope you guys learned a little bit. I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. And uh, I will try to get you guys some good advice, but this is also a good reason why I just show you guys it as I'm doing it and tell you what I've learned. All right. Thank you guys tons. Have a great one. Bye.